everybody, and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. In this series of episodes, we will be showing you the city of Lublin. That's right, Lublin, the great city east of the Wisła River in Poland, otherwise known as the Vistula River, that is. Lublin's an amazing city. It's really quite a fantastic place to stop off. Absolutely dripping with history and fun. It is the ninth largest city in Poland. It is the capital and center of the Lubelska province. And it's about 170 kilometers southeast of the capital, Warsaw. It was the Polish-Lithuanian Union in 1385 that really put Lublin on the map on a strategic route between Krakow and Vilnius. The Lublin Parliament of 1569 created an actual union between Lithuania and Poland. It was the Lublin Parliament of 1569 that actually united Lithuania and Poland politically. So we're going to be getting an all-round view of the city. We'll also go to the Royal Castle in Lublin and we'll check out the Holy Trinity Chapel with some of the most, well, breathtaking frescoes you're going to see anywhere in Europe. We'll stroll through the old town and comment on its captivating Jewish history. Catholics and Jews lived side by side in Lublin in Lubelski province for hundreds of years. It was a peaceful and fruitful cooperation. And lastly, but not least, we'll head to a onion bread bakery and we're going to go through the ritual of how you make onion bread a staple product along with beer in this region. All in all, you're going to find this an extremely rewarding trip to Lublin and uh, we hope that you'll see it in a light that you've never seen it before. Poland Daily Travel, why do we do it? We do it for you. We promise you nothing but the best. Lublin, past, present, and future with Poland Daily Travel. We're standing in front of the Krakow Gate, right? Krakowski. Gate. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Krakowski Krakowska, what? Krakowska, Brama Krakowska. Brama Krakowska. Krakowska. And uh, I guess it's named for Krakow. From Krakow, from right. our capital city. So you would come through this gate into the old city and go out the other gate to go to Vilno. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're great. Because you said how, that before. I just how you did it. Is that true? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I got a medieval mind. At least that's what my friends tell me. Uh -huh. Yeah, nothing I can do about it, I guess. Krakowska Brama, mm -hmm. uh, named uh, many years ago as Higher Gate because Grodzka is down. It's All right. Higher, so this is yes, the Higher Gate. The Higher Gate. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the other one's lower it down. Makes sense. Uh -huh. These people, they're logical. Uh -huh. I'm beginning to understand. Yes, I can understand. And it. it's from 14th century. It's the 14th century. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Gothic, you see? This yeah. crosses on it. Uh huh. It's very characteristic for the Gothic. Right. Mm hmm. It's got it's got the little arches, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, is this one of the, was this always standing here or was it rebuilt? Always standing here. It never got destroyed. Never. Some of the old town got destroyed. That didn't get destroyed, right? I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of this was destroyed in the war, right? Many times and fired and, and mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but not the Krakowski Gate. Not Krakowski so Gate. So it's a special monument in not the town here, right? Mm -hmm. And what is the street we're standing on now? So we've come out of the Krakowski Gate. In the old days, that was the medieval town, right? Krakowski Przedmieście. And this is the street to Krakow. This is the street. Straight ahead, if you start to walk, you Maybe will be in Krakow. You think if we walk down there, we'll see the wizard? Okay. Come on, let's go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Krakow. Yeah, now that was Pan Tavardski, wasn't it? That guy's name? What's his name? Pan Tavardski or something? Pan, wasn't he the, Pan? the alchemist? Pan Twardowski. 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 That's the guy. He's the famous guy in Krakow. Twardowski. So if we keep going, in the old days we would maybe meet him, like 500 years ago or 600 years ago. He was an alchemist, right? Yes, he was. 450 years of the Union Again. of Lubelski mm -hmm. and the rest. So this is Krakowski Street. And we're going all the way. This will take us to the university, right? Yes. It's like two kilometers from here. Fantastic. It's two kilometers along mm -hmm. the street, right? Fantastic. Nice town, Lublin. Provincial, Colm, 
mm -hmm. and I like it. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to spend some time. Well, there you are. Right, so Bogner, we're here in uh, the square. square, main square, in the old town in Lublin, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it's Poland Daily Travel, isn't it? It's Poland Daily Travel, right? Yeah, okay. What's this? This is the gate, Trinity Gate. Yeah? Uh, we have no time, back, but we can walk upstairs to see the view. Oh, we did the view on the tower. Do we have to okay, climb another to. tower today? I think that I you like I bet I do. My steps. And I bet the view is very good from there. Maybe we should go. Maybe, <laughs> okay. maybe we'll do it. Maybe Tomorrow. we'll do it. Or we have a helicopter. Okay. Yeah. If we could get a helicopter. But anyway, this is the center of the old town. I see these pictures we have here. Uh, are these Jewish, Jewish families. families? Yes, Jewish families. Yeah. Uh, oh, and there's a Jewish restaurant, isn't uh, there? Jewish restaurant, yes. These pictures must remember us that uh, in this city were a lot of Jewish families. Right, and so these pictures just remind us of uh, the, some of these elegant people, uh, Jewish people who lived here at that time, mm -hmm. yeah, say uh, before the World War II and for many hundreds of years before that, right? Because right. weren't they invited? Jewish people were invited by Casimir the Great mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, tradesmen and because they had skills, right? In, yes. And they had Christians a civilized... Had, uh, hadn't that skills. Right. They and, didn't like to sell anything. Right. And to make the shoes and the clothes and things mm -hmm. like that. So they were good at these trades. And also they added the civilizing influence because of their learning. So there was a double, it was a, a double victory. Uh, they were Kazimierz together sought. as good neighbors yeah. for the centuries. For centuries, so 400, 500 years, okay, right. So, um, oh, this is just a perfect place to see, to see the old town. And, uh, oh, there's a lot of things I notice also culturally. Lubin is known for having a lot of festivals and a lot of uh, performances because there's so many students. What, 40,000 students? 40,000 students, or, or, or even, uh, even more. Even more. Mm -hmm. And they're all arriving like next week, right? Isn't that true? Uh, they are coming now to Lublin, yeah. and Lublin is uh, waking up. Yeah, it'll be waking up. So another month from now, it'll be absolutely crazy. Yeah, so they're having a, uh, they had some uh, uh, blues thing coming up, yeah? Some blues festival. Chatka Blues, the 10th festival, okay. Mm -hmm. That looks interesting. There you go, the Blues Festival. And uh, there's a, a per performance of a play called Cowboys. Cowboy, yeah. I have no idea what that'll be, but uh, uh, that is at the Theater Ostervi. Osterva. Mm -hmm. Osterva, do you know it? Theater Osterva. And then here's uh, the Saskin Gar Saxon Gardens. Where are those? In the middle? Of the town? Uh, close to the Catholic University of Lublin. Near the Catholic mm -hmm. University, okay, and they're having piano recitals there. Uh, there's one today, actually. Mm -hmm. There's in one the today. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the evening, there'll be one. And then we have the Theatre Story. Is that the main theatre here? Oh, it's it's, it's uh, the oldest theatre in Lublin. It's mm -hmm. the oldest theatre in Lublin. And let's see what kind of stuff they've got, they've got coming up. Oh, it looks like they have... Uh, well, obviously a lot of theater. What do they got on today? Today there's a film. Oh, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the sixth. The concert's tomorrow, too. Today's the fifth. There's nothing. Today they rest. Yeah, they're resting today, so we can't go. Fighting for culture. Yeah, cultural, yeah, lots of cultural fights. Maika Urbaniak's giving a concert. She's mm. a singer. Yeah. Karolak Piano Trio. Karolak Piano Trio, that's jazz. Mm -hmm. So they're doing music and they're doing, uh, and they're doing theater. So there you are. That's good. Now, I can't throw it. That would be littering. If we were in the studio, I would just throw this stuff. And we would continue uh, on our way. Sound man, how you doing over there? Yeah, we got thumbs up from the sound man, so everything's good. Can you hear us? Okay, we're going to go this way. W what is this? This is Dominican's church. That's nice, too. Oh, this lion. I love lions. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. This amazing sculpture. Um, this is the Dominican church? Mm -hmm. The Dominican uh -huh. church. Uh -huh. Good. Mm -hmm. And they, they came to Lublin in the 13th century. Uh -huh. We were talking about them before. They were very, mm -hmm. the early, uh, early settlers of, of Lublin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and they built their church on a hill 
as they like to do, right? Yes. The Dominicans are often doing this, aren't they? And we are Our uh, in uh, Zwota Street, means Golden Street. So there would have been a lot of trade going on here in the old days, the jewelers and the gold uh, smiths and, and all of these things. Hello, Jim Dobry. Hello. And what I love, I love these old houses. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic, yeah. We, we got to get a picture of this. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, stay with us. Poland Daily Travel. We'll be right back. <laughs>